Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today I am bringing you a Gunmaster video. I did this during a stream. Um, if you guys like watching streams, I'll put my stream link in the description. I stream a lot, and this is actually my best game of Gunmaster. And I was playing, and this is the first time I've ever won this. And I was playing, I'm just kind of screwing around, playing around, but I got into another game today, and I won another game. So you might see another video kind of similar to this. But this is just kind of some background. I was just sitting around yesterday, I was thinking, what are some new games that are kind of under the radar, kind of, it's not very big of games, but they're good. Like, I always like playing new games, playing games that other people don't usually play. So, like, I'm not, I'm not just a Daisy Battlefield 3, kind of, like, freaking popular game person. I like a little bit of everything. So, um, I was just wondering if you guys have any, like, suggestions for games. And if you do, I'd be happy to play them, do, like, a playthrough or something for you guys. And, I was wondering if you guys are looking forward to uh, Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 is coming out. Um, freaking Daisy Standalone is going to be out. Now that I'm excited for. That seems like... I can't tell though. Like it looks... It seems good. But I'm not sure about like the whole jumping zombies thing. Like zombies knocking you over. Like it kind of annoys me in Day Zero. But I don't know. Depends. I'm definitely looking forward to Battlefield 4 though. Battlefield 4 looks like it's going to be a really good game. You guys looking forward to Call of Duty Ghosts too? All the freaking, um, all the gameplays out for it now looks awesome. I'm pretty excited to snipe. I'm I'm a sniper in games. I love playing the sniper class. Love just sniping. It just feels like it feels like it takes more skill to snipe than it takes to do anything else. Like I just I don't know. Saints Row Four is four, right? Maybe because it's Grand Theft Auto Five and Saints Row Four, I think. Yeah. But, like, I was pretty annoyed because I bought Saints Row 3, and I have a GTI, GTX 650 Ti Boost, the MSI version. I don't know if there's any other versions of that. I'm pretty new to computer parts. But um, I have that, and it's not compatible with the um, with my graphics card, so I can't play the game. Like, it won't launch. It'll just launch this little black, this little black square of a screen, which is kind of annoying to me. But I was really, I was kind of excited to play that because when I upgraded from my other computer, I had all these games bought and a lot of them I couldn't play at good settings. And I was like, I p opened up a few games. I was like, wow, this is really, really good. It's going to be really cool. And I was, I don't know. It was just kind of annoying that I couldn't play Saints Row with my friends. But when does GTA 5 come out? I'm not much of a Grand Theft Auto or Saints Row guy, but I like playing them every once in a while with friends because it's just really funny to screw around. But I've never played Grand Theft Auto 4. I played like the earlier ones on consoles and stuff. But it always, always, I'm always open to playing new games. I don't know about you guys. Like, I like indie games, games made by other companies because I feel like I feel like they can be more creative. Like other companies have, like, budgets and they want to meet like a selling record. I don't know, like selling record. Like they want to sell a certain amount. And they want to like please so many people that you start to lose that creativity of gaming and lose that creativity of making games, which makes it a lot a lot less fun to play games because to me a lot of the call of duties have not been up to par in my mind like battlefield will always in my mind be a better better game than call of duties because call of duties i just feel like it's more like it's down to reaction time like if you can't react as well but you're still you've played the game a long time and you still like play the game avidly and you don't have good reaction times you can't be good at the game like, I feel like in other games, it kind of, it doesn't, it's not as much on that type of level. Like, you actually, if you play the game a good amount of times, you're good at the game. I feel like in Call of Duty, I can play that as many times as I want, and I can still get killed by the YY 360 no scoper that jumps across map and snipes me in the head. It just, it just feels like the game doesn't take any skill anymore. And I'm just hoping they change that in Call of Duty Ghost. Yeah, that's what it's called, right? But I'm pretty excited. I, the graphics. I heard that the graphics are the graphics for PC are going to be on a separate. I don't think it, maybe it's a separate engine, but they're going to be a lot better than the console graphics. Like a lot of the times, I don't want to say held back, but a lot of the times, like PC gaming has been held to like they can't be as good or like as good as they possibly can be because they're running off the same engine as the P as the console. I think yeah, as the console games, but really it's. It's, as long as the game's good, I'll play it. And is there any new games other than that coming out? 
Those are like the big games, like the big coming out games. But like, is there any other games that are just like, I'm just forgetting about? I don't know, but I really made this commentary to talk to you about games, talk to you guys about different games coming out, games I was pretty excited about. But, um, this is nearly over, and I don't know. I don't really have much anything else to talk to you about. So I'm going to say goodbye, guys. Have fun watching the last few kills here. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you like, I mean, if you um, if you like this type of thing or like commentaries like this, feel free to leave me a like and a favorite. I'll make sure to do more things like this. But thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I'm going to leave you now. Good night.